Hello, and welcome to Select 10. In today's video, we'll count down the top 10 biggest new web series available on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV+, Hulu, and other platforms. Along with a few popular shows returning for new seasons, these are some of the popular new action, post-apocalyptic, comedy, and drama shows to watch. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Anthracite, it is a crime mystery thriller series, created by Fanny Robert. The story began with a horrible incident in 1994, where a mysterious cult committed mass murders in a tiny community in the Alps. Thirty years later, in 2024, the town is upset by the death of a lady who was murdered in accordance with the 1994 cult community's traditions. The main focus is on Jero Gatsi, a young miscreant who came to the Highlands in an attempt to turn his life around, but promptly discovers himself under suspicion for the murder. In an attempt to establish his innocence, he gets unexpected assistance from Ida, a quirky nerd who is searching for her father. However, as they both delve further to uncover the truth of the killings, they soon realize that their own histories hold the answers they want. The narrative is strange, and it gets stranger as it progresses as it shifts around two timelines. If you're not paying attention, you might get confused. The plot is typical, which includes cults, teen romances, and detective dramas, but its core mystery is what keeps you hooked. Plus, the alpine setting is stunning, and the performances are engaging, and if you like watching chilling mysteries, this show will be a pleasant one for you. Number 9. Palm Royale. It is a comedy-drama miniseries, created by Abe Sylvia. The show is set in 1969, and tells the tale of an outsider, Maxine Simmons, who yearns to be part of Palm Beach's elite female group, as she is fascinated by the ultra-wealthy people's lifestyle. Maxine tries to make friends with club member Dinah Donahue in order to achieve what she wants, but because Maxine isn't descended from a noble family, Dinah doesn't intend to support Maxine's Palm Royale membership at first. What follows are her bizarre plans and lies to get a seat in the Palm Beach elite society, which soon put her in uncomfortable situations, where she learns that every club member has a mystery, while she needs to hide her mysterious past in order to maintain her place in the club. The plot of Palm Royale is predictable and overly dramatic, there are covert relationships, abrupt turns of events, and characters who don't live up to their promises. Overall, Palm Royale is just a lot of fun dressed up in vintage attire, and the very first episode lays up multiple settings where viewers could anticipate a melodrama to develop. Six episodes have already been released, and the final four will follow each week. Number 8. Baby Reindeer. It is a drama thriller miniseries, created by Richard Gadd. The narrative centers on the twisted relationship between stage performer Donnie and his female obsessive fan Martha, as well as the effects it has on him, until he is finally forced to confront a very darkly concealed trauma. The show has a lot of layers and deceptive details that will take you by surprise. Additionally after the humor element of the stalking fades off, the show turns into a psychological examination that slowly eats away at Donnie's life. Though it is based on Gad's real experiences, I believe he did a refreshingly good job of making the narration highly entertaining, with Martha acting as a devil, meeting all of Donnie's desires, feeding his fears, and revealing his past to him. The premise is fresh and enhances the series, and the performances are beautifully played out, with Gad and Jessica Gunning doing an excellent job of expressing the ambiguous relationship between a stalker and the target. Overall, the story mixes overpowering tragedy with humor to startle viewers and catch them off guard. Number 7. A Gentleman in Moscow. It is a historical drama series, based on the 2016 book by Amor Tolls. The show takes place in the 20th century and revolves around Count Alexander Ilyich Rostov, a wealthy man who finds himself under house imprisonment in Moscow's Metropol Hotel, under the leadership of the Bolsheviks in 1922. The story follows Rostov's life over many years inside the hotel's walls as he negotiates the difficulties and transformations of Soviet Russia. Despite having little physical freedom, he tries to live a rich and satisfying life inside the hotel, making connections with staff members and other visitors, notably Nina, a bright young girl. The series follows Rostov's development as he adjusts to his situation and discovers fulfillment and meaning in unanticipated places. Additionally, it paints a striking picture of Soviet society at a turbulent historical moment, depicting both its lavish lifestyle and its harsh attitude. Two episodes have already been released, and the remaining six will follow each week. Although the first two episodes fall well short of the book's expectations, their story of resiliency, humanism, and the ability of people to find happiness and purpose despite misfortune, is compelling enough to hold viewers' attention. Number 6. Beacon 23. It is a sci-fi psychological thriller series, created by Zach Penn. 
The show follows Halen, a caretaker of a spacecraft guidance station Beacon 23. Soon, his life takes an unexpected turn when an approaching ship, the Crest, is destroyed by dark matter, while the only survivor Halen is able to get aboard is a lady named Aster. But when Halen and Aster discover each other's true intentions and secrets, they are forced to cooperate in order to survive and discover the startling mystery of Beacon 23 and his previous Beacon Keepers, while they encounter other interstellar organizations, space travelers arrive looking for Aster. The show is investigative sci-fi, transporting the audience to a beautifully imagined universe in which the expanse of space correlates with the Beacon Keepers' internal agony. The main drawback is that it's slow and distinctive, so typical science fiction fans may not like it. Those who have already seen Season 1, Season 2's first episode premiered on April 7, 2024, and opened with Astor's unexpected incident, prompting Halen to launch an unauthorized assault on the left's mothership. But the left strikes back, taking out Halen's companions and abandoning him on the devastated Beacon 23. The first episode gets the season off to an ideal start and leaves you eager for more. Number 5. Pyramid Game. It is a 2024 survival thriller series created by Lee J. Jian. The story revolves around Sung Soo Jai, who has moved to Seoul Beaky in Girls High School and learns on her first day of school that she must take part in a monthly pyramid game, a popularity vote competition in which the student with the fewest votes receives a F and is made the subject of teasing throughout school. When Sung Soo Jai receives zero votes and is targeted next, mayhem breaks out. She gets teased by her fellow students, and no one appears to be concerned in the classroom, whereas Sung Soo Jai attempts to escape her situation and stop the pyramid game once and for all. The tale is a hybrid between Hunger Games and Westworld, focusing on institute leadership, and while it contains some ridiculous elements, it is a brutal watch. Despite a few evident shortcomings, Pyramid Game is nevertheless fascinating because of the well-written characters of every student and the sensitive subject matter, which keeps you on the edge of your seat throughout. Number 4. Parasite, The Grey. It is a sci-fi action adventure, directed by Yi and Sang Ho. The plot of the show centers around an unidentified extraterrestrial species known as parasites that crashes on Earth one day and begins consuming human minds. Three characters make up the main plot. Ji and So Ni, a traumatized young woman who encounters a parasite that does not succeed in gaining control over her mind. The second character is Seal Kang Wu, a part-time criminal who tries to locate parasites in an effort to track down his younger sister. While the third character is Choi Jun Kyang, the head of the Great Team, an organization dedicated to killing parasites. The show depicts action-packed situations in which these characters' storylines intertwine in a most unexpected way. The show is based on the well-known animated series of the same name, although it narrates a different story with the same central idea. The show contains only six episodes and a fast-paced plot that explores parasite motivations and their conflict with humans, as well as a great task force that hunts them one by one. The plot is ideal for binge-watching because it is packed with action and strong emotions. Number 3. Renegade Nell. It is a historical fantasy adventure series written by Sally Wainwright. The narrative centers on Nell Jackson, a brave young woman, who, after being unintentionally falsely accused of murder, rises to notoriety as the most infamous outlaw in 18th century England. Later, she acquires mystical abilities from Billy Blind, a fearless spirit, while discovering that destiny has not tricked her once she meets Queen Anne and becomes involved in the power conflicts taking place throughout the European front lines. The show combines aspects of exciting road action, fascinating politics, and fairy tale enchantment, and employs well-known cliches to create a fun and refreshing adventure with a diverse cast and sorcery. With her portrayal of Nell, Louisa Harland elevates the story above its action and magical parts, highlighting the subjects of power, tenacity, and injustice. Despite the repeated magical elements, Renegade Nell is a brilliant and interesting series, owing to its gripping action, mystery, and development of characters. Number 2. Will Trent, it is a police procedural crime drama series created by Karen Slaughter, Liz Heldens, and Daniel T. Thompson. Season 2 premiered on February 20, 2024, and six episodes have been released so far. To ensure that new viewers know what to expect from the show, let's quickly review the first season's plot without giving anything away. The story follows Will Trent, an agent who, together with his colleague Faith Mitchell and their supervisor Amanda Wagner, becomes engaged in difficult and frequently terrifying cases. The show explores Will's difficult upbringing, which has followed him into adulthood, while Will faces difficult facts about himself and people around him, as he works on cases that test his investigation abilities. 
The second season began with Will, Faith Mitchell, and Amanda Wagner looking into a strange vehicle explosion that may have been connected to some captives and a conspiracy to demand money. The remaining episodes explored Will past in greater detail while focusing on their connection and introducing new horrific cases. Season 2 exceeds the first season in drama and depth by delving into darker subjects, and it is a must-see for fans of the crime genre. The show's overall strength is its realistic, gritty portrayal of crime, trauma, and salvation, which makes for engrossing and emotional viewing. Additionally, the show features intriguing characters with rich backstories, which adds to its appeal. Number 1. Fallout. It is an post-apocalyptic adventure series created by Graham Wagner and Geneva Robertson Worth. The show depicts the aftermath of a catastrophic nuclear war, in which advances in nuclear technology have led to the establishment of a retrofuturistic civilization, and Earth is reduced to a post-apocalyptic desert. Many of the survivors took sanctuary in subterranean fallout bunkers, known as vaults, which had been created to preserve mankind from the aftereffects of a nuclear war. Moving forward more than two centuries, the narrative centers on Lucy, a young lady from Vault 33, who sets out on a treacherous quest to find her missing father and meets an evil bounty collector and an officer from the Brotherhood of Steel, each of whom has mysterious pasts and personal objectives of their own to fulfill. Every episode has a unique story that unravel from start to finish, such as Lucy's encounter with the enormous mutant beast, organ extractor, and more. The Brotherhood of Steel's T-60 power armor is the most entertaining part, though, as it is a true pleasure to see in action. Overall, the narrative is a light-hearted apocalyptic show with dark humor and extreme violent moments. Its three unique characters follow intricately connected tales that culminate in an amazing conclusion, all of which are masterfully developed. This is as great as the recent blockbuster show, The Last of Us. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.